Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. For those of you who found me through the title of this being a mukbang video, my name is Mo and I'm so glad that you are here to join me for this delicious lunch that I have prepared on my own. So, let me get comfortable. For today's lunch on the menu, I have some snow crab leg, um, chicken wings, shrimp, and potatoes. Oh, and an ear of corn and spinach. So this here part of my food is like traditional for my family. Um, we have this for Christmas and then just in between the year, we'll have it um, as a special treat. So I'm super excited and I'm also super hungry. So I'm going to dig right in. All right, um, so I'm gonna start with my spinach. Um, believe it or not, this is a half a bag of spinach. It's just crazy how spinach like wilts down to like nothing. So I'm gonna eat this first just so I can eat my green veggies and get it out of the way and hop on the good stuff. Mmm. So, This is fresh spinach, and um, what I did was I just put it in a um, a pan with butter, olive oil, minced garlic, salt, and pepper, and I just sauteed it together. And it always tastes really yummy. So I'm super excited about this video. This is my first mukbang video. And I've been wanting to make one of these for a really long time. And today's that day. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see my spinach or not. It's actually really good. For all of the subbies that I do have, hi. It has been such a long time. It's been almost a year since I've posted a video last. I know a bunch of you are like anxious to see what's going on with this, my hair. But I think a lot of my subbies are from my um, hair video. And really quick before I forget, I'm supposed to give a shout out to a young lady. So the last video I posted was, like I said, almost a year ago. And I had a subby that wanted me to give her a shout out. And I told her that I would and I have not forgotten about you. So let me just get your name and uh, shout you out, girl. No, Sorry, you guys heard Tian talking. I was watching his videos but like while I was cooking. So there is um another guy that does like mukbang videos, Asian guy out in California. His name is Tian and I really really like his videos. So if you guys know him, let me know in the comments below. And Tian one day I will make a collaboration mukbang or what you call a friend friend bong video. I want to make one with you. I love you and I think you're great. Mm. Happy plate with my spinach. That was actually really good. I should have made a whole bag. Um, give me a second guys. I'm just trying to find the young lady's name. So I can give her a shout out. Jewel, Jewel from Omaha. Hi honey, if you're still subscribed to me and you see this video, sorry it's been so long since I've made a video and I hope you're still hanging in there with me since I've kind of abandoned you guys. Um, okay, now for the good stuff. 
So I've got butter here that I'm gonna put lemon in. I like lots of lemon and that's how I eat my seafood. I know a lot of people use different things um, to dip their seafood in. Some people do just like salt and lime, which I think is what Tian does. Um, I also watched a young man's video named Jasper Days. He did a, he has two seafood ones and he makes some weird concoction um, that he says his grandma kind of taught him to make and it's got like a bunch of random shit in it. It's like mayonnaise and ketchup and hot sauce and sugar or something, I don't know. It seems to be kind of popular. Like some people actually know um, like what he's making cause they do too. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start with a shrimp. These shrimp are huge. Mm. Mm hmm. For those people that are watching, you guys, let me know in the comments below how I'm doing. Like, I don't know, any tips or suggestions to make my videos better or make them more enjoyable for you guys. Mm, mm, mm. I got butter going on, look at that. Mm. Means my chin is gonna be broke out tomorrow. I need to make some room. I want to put my butter in front of me. Now I have some chicken on these chicken wings. And so I put all of this in a, like a large boiling pot and boiled it all with um, like crab spice seasoning. And I put the chicken in there too. So it has like the same flavor as the seafood and it's so good. And it's always so tender since it's been boiled. And it's spicy. I don't even know why I bothered putting lipstick on. I should have known it wasn't gonna stay. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have seen my frame I'm really petite I'm only 5'1 about 105 pounds I'm really tiny and people always like try to hit you with that you need to eat you don't eat enough which my little sister Maya you guys know Maya I guess they call it skinny shaming now like that's a thing and it is kind of a thing like I hate when people like talk shit on you because you're small and try to make it seem like you don't eat. I can eat. I love food. Mm. I don't even really feel like I am going in on this food right now, but I am starving. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my last piece of chicken. I 
I've been craving this for so long. Now, why was I pissed off too? Because I was trying to hold out. Like everybody knows seafood is kind of pricey. Regardless of where you live, it can be an expensive meal. And um, I stay in the Midwest, by the way, in Kansas City. <clears throat> and so I was kind of like stalking the seafood aisle for like a good two weeks. Trying to like plan it perfectly on like when I could catch the crab legs on sale. So finally I was like, like I'm really craving them. I really wanted to make this video. And so I just bought them. Why well, two days later they was on sale. Three dollars cheaper a pound than what I had bought mine for. So that was kind of annoying. Because I could have saved like, I don't know, six or seven dollars maybe. This is like a heart attack waiting to happen. Like all this butter, cause I like dunk it, drench it in butter. Potatoes. So good, like everything's cooked perfectly. I did a really good job. <clears throat> Look at that. So my favorite part of the crab leg is the little like, I call it the knuckle. Cause that's just what my family's always called it. The part with that white meat in it. I'll show you. This part here, my favorite part. And I've noticed like some people don't eat that part, which I'm like, why are you wasting all that meat? I don't know if they just feel like you're not supposed to eat it or you can't eat it. Mm -hmm. But I also, on the big claw part, I always take this part off and I use it as like a little tool. And I use it to get all the meat out of all the little crevices. I do not waste a shred of crab meat. I will fight this crab to the end. I want all of it. Case in point, I just spent how many seconds trying to get this piece of meat out? So, I know the subbies that I do have right now, <clears throat> I am like destroying this shirt. Um, probably, ooh, 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 hold on. Oh, it's just a shell. Um, you guys probably think like, what the hell? Like, is she doing? Is she seriously recording herself eating? And I am, it's like a new fad, which I actually found out about it like over a year ago and I wanted to do it so bad but it was like a Korean thing 
and I didn't really notice like a lot of I don't know like American or youtubers doing it but now the secret's out and everybody's doing it so I figured I'd try my hand at it and see if I um, you know get some followers it's actually a lot of fun <clears throat> and so I'll explain to you those who don't know what it is I'm assuming half the people that are watching this it's because they looked it up sorry so my camera like shut off um, I'm gonna get back to what I was saying as far as explaining what um, a mukbang is which it doesn't need that much explanation it's an eating show there are people out there that enjoy watching other people eat for different reasons I know some people say they do it because they're like lonely and I guess it makes them feel like you know they're actually having dinner with someone there's some people that like they're fasting or dieting and I guess watching these videos like somehow like comforts them or makes it easier for them to like go through it kind of like living vicariously through me and what I'm eating um what are some of the other reasons I've heard maybe some people are just weirdos I don't know <laughs> but I think the loneliness and the fasting is uh, oh no and then there's the people that like what do they call it ASMR which is some type of like audio stimulation where they look at that they look um they like the sound of certain things like tapping or like these shells or chewing or what have you so there's those people as well but with my video timing out if anybody knows how i can prevent it from doing that so i have the canon g7x which a lot of youtubers have this camera if anybody knows how i can get it to stop cutting off because it cuts off between like 10 and 15 minutes like each clip and i don't know how to just keep it running like continuously so if you know how can you let me know in the comments below thank you <laughs> Damn it. I hate it when these like smaller portions don't come out perfectly. Which I know a lot of that has to do with um like if it's cooked properly and then like how fresh the crab is. You guys have to let me know too like like I said with this being my first one you have to tell me like um, anything I can improve on or make it more pleasurable experience for my viewers one of the things I was kind of concerned about like is if I'm talking too much or if I'm talking too less I am a talker though so I'd like to talk And with that being said, I know a lot of my current subscribers are probably wondering why I was gone for an entire year. And um, yeah, 2016 has been a shitty ass year. Like I just wanted to end. It was a horrible year for me. Um. 
Let's see, what have I been doing? I've had like a couple bad relationships. And bad breakups. Um, I've mentioned in some previous videos that my grandmother, who I'm really close to, um, she has Alzheimer's. And um, there's seven stages, and she's in the fifth stage right now. So I've been dealing with that a lot. Like, geez, that's it's been hard. Like, that's just been like super stressful, super hard. Mm. What else have I been dealing with? Work's been kind of weird. Mm. At one point, I like relocated to Seattle and I hated it. Oh my gosh, I hated it. I wasn't out there very long, just for a few months before I turned my ass around and came back home. So, <clears throat> That was like super stressful, like traveling, traveling halfway across the country, looking for a new life. And it was kind of one of those like, out of the frying pan into the fire type situations. Like shit just got worse. Mm. I will be making a hair update video. I know a lot of you guys are wondering like, What's going on with my hair? I want to make a separate video about that. I think that's everything, really. If you guys want, I'll make a complete video. Updating you guys, like, on a month-to-month -month type thing on this year. If you want to listen to me bitch about it. I try not to, like talk about it too much don't want like a debbie downer y'all you know, i have an itch in my hair and my fingers are disgusting and i do like the little black girl pet mm, mm, mm. when my camera recycles itself like when it clicks off in a few minutes and I have to turn it back on. This chair is uncomfortable. I'm gonna have to figure out something different to do about this sitting situation. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go and like zap my food in the microwave. I was trying to be clever and I have my food on a cookie sheet as you can see. And I heated the cookie sheet up in the oven in hopes that, you know, it would act as a warmer for my food. I'm one of them people that I do not like to eat my food once it's gotten cold. It just bothers me. I don't like eating it at room temperature or colder. So I need to reheat this and I'll enjoy it more. So good. I love the lemon butter, like especially with the lemon, cause it's so tangy. So good. Uh oh. Okay. I messed the claw up on that one. Usually, I like to eat each section of the claw as it comes off of each leg, but that didn't really happen. So, or not the claw, but the knuckle. just love the meat that's in there it's like just this little pocket with little like mazes with just so much meat and it tastes different from the meat that's in the actual legs I think it tastes better mm -mm. Maya calling.
Oh, my butter is getting cold. Everything is getting cold. Juicy there. God damn it. I keep trying to get this to come out in one piece. Okay, I'm gonna eat this piece here and then I'm gonna zap this food. Look at that, that came out perfectly. So I know a lot of people are gonna find this weird, the whole mukbang concept. I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard of it, I thought it was weird too, but I knew immediately that I wanted to do it. I thought it was weird and I just wanted to do it like on this side of the camera. And so when I knew that I really wanted to do it, I was watching a couple people on YouTube that were making videos and doing it. And I was doing it more for like research purposes. And then, I actually found myself like watching them, like full on watching them, especially with the um, Asian guy I was telling you about, Tien. Um, he spells it T-H-I-E-N, I think. Um, I'm sure you can find him on there if you just like type in like Mukbang, it's M-U-K-B-A-N-G. You'll find him, he's awesome. And I find myself like actually watching his videos, so I guess I'm one of those people. Mmm. Okay, this is good. But I've got to heat it up. So give me a second, guys. We'll be right back. Made it back, you guys. So I nuked my food. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys are going to say I should probably turn my phone off while I'm recording. Duly noted. That's my mom calling this time. I'm actually getting full, which is weird because I expected to eat all of this. You know, funny thing too is the actual claw, that big piece of the crab leg, is my least favorite. So, this little bubble here has a lot of meat in it, but for some reason, it's just not my favorite. I mean, I eat it, it's good, but it's my least favorite part. And it's funny because there's like actually a piece of meat in this little claw part. I want to see if I can get it out. Usually it comes out and I don't. Yeah, it's not coming out. I don't usually eat it because it's weird to me. <laughs> it's like kind of floppy.
I always drink so much water after eating a meal like this because of <clears throat> all the sodium that's in it. It's a lot of sodium. So I always like, I can feel my body screaming for water. Y'all don't know why I was not smart enough to put some more butter in this dish while I was up. Cause I'm running low. I always bite this part with my mouth. I don't use a cracker or anything. I just bite it. But just what I've done my entire life, I've been eating crab legs since I was a little girl. And I never thought anything of it. And I worked with a chick once and she had like a, a chip tooth on the side. And she said it was from biting crab legs. So, I've always been kind of nervous now. Every time I have to crack one. I mean, you know, you stop me from doing it, but I guess you can just say I'm slightly more cautious about it. I really hope you guys like this video. I hope that you've even hung out with me so far. It might be like, what, 15 minutes in? Tittle is so good. It's funny how you'll take a bite of like everything in this meal. And everything just tastes so good. <clears throat> Like I always kind of feel like the potato would be my least favorite part. When I say that, once again, doesn't mean I don't like it, but just about to put stuff in order. But then when you take a bite of it, you're like, oh my God, that's so good. Hmm. I have an uncle that eats corn on the cob so perfectly. I don't know how he does it. So when I eat corn on the cob, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that clear enough, but it's just like really messy. But when he eats it, it's like he somehow uses his teeth to pick up every single kernel from like the root of the corn, I guess. And so it's just like this clean, like rolls of corn. I don't know how he does it. Because with me, I mean, I feel like I sink my teeth in there and bite off a part. But it always comes out so messy looking. One thing about me is I will only eat fresh corn on the cob. I won't eat it out of the can, like the kernels. I won't eat a frozen ear of corn. It has to be fresh. Otherwise, I won't eat it. And I wasn't raised that way. I used to eat those other options, but I think one day my mom actually brought home some like bi-colored sweet fresh corn in Game Changer. So never since that day have I eaten fresh or canned corn ever again. 
but it's actually disgusting compared to fresh corn. It makes me think of my abuela, my grandmother. Cause like I said, we have like seafood Christmases. So instead of like the traditional turkey and all that kind of jazz, we have like a Cajun seafood Christmas and we'll have corn. And so my grandmother, like she spoils me and my family hates it. It's like super obvious and they just hate it. And so like, of course, when we do like the whole full family seafood thing, we will buy like a big like Costco size bag of like frozen um, ears of corn. Like the little ones, you know, they come in like little segments. So she'll buy that for the family, but then you'll see like maybe two or three ears of fresh corn. And like people used to be like up in arms about it. Like, why do you have fresh corn? And she'll be like, that's for Monique. And then they'll be like, why she just can't eat corn like everybody else, like the frozen corn? Like, cause she don't like that. She like this kind. They used to get so mad. Hmm. So I love like reminiscing and having memories like that about her. Cause like I said, she has Alzheimer's and she's slipping. But I love her. And makes me happy thinking about old happy moments of her. And I'm doing too much talking because this shit's gotten cold again. I'm going to finish this corn and I'm going to zap this one more time and then I'm going to eat it and then I'll check out. Just in case you guys have made it this far as well, this is your first time seeing a video of mine and you wanna know a little bit about me. Um, like I said, my name is Monique. Sometimes people call me Mo or Momo. I'm 29 and a half. Like, so I'm coming up on 30. I'll be 30 in like five months. Kind of freaking out about it a little bit. Um, I don't have any children. Like I said, I live in Kansas City. Mm. I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions that you'd like me to answer, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try to get to them in the next video. Every time I eat corn too, ears of corn. We used to have a cat when I was younger named Koala. And she used to like, every time we would have corn for dinner, she would go in the trash and take out the corn and she would eat it. Like the ear that was left over, she was weird. We used to find like ears of corn like underneath the beds or some shit like that. It was gross, but every time we had corn, she would go in the trash and get the corn out. I know, I hope I'm not talking too much. You guys let me know if I'm talking too much. But I have a good friend named Cortez who was one of the skeptics about my video, my mukbang video. And he said he wasn't gonna watch it, but I think that he is. So if you are watching this, hi Cortez.
Can y'all see my shirt? I got crab on it. Right when I first started recording the video, like I went to sit down and my boob was like, boop. I'm like, God damn it. Didn't even make it into the video. I finished my corn off camera while I was reheating my food and I'm gonna really try to like knock the rest of this out which I don't think I'm gonna finish it all <coughs> Cause I'm, like I said I'm kind of full I'll probably eat half the crab leg one of the potatoes and two out of the four shrimp I'm getting full you guys I think I'm going to try to really save this like I could keep going but something I had to learn to do when I was a child like I would keep eating just because the food was in front of me and so I would eat even after I was full, when I was younger, I'm not gonna lie, there are still some times today that I'll like overeat 
And when I was a kid, I used to get in trouble for that shit all the time because I would eat and then my stomach would start hurting because I ate too much. And then I'd go crying to my mom. It was like one of the things where it's like, <laughs> she would be comforting about it at first or think that like maybe I had some type of like stomach issue and then she realized I was just overeating and she'd like tell me to shut the hell up if I like was in her face whining and crying about it. Cause she'd be like, well, you shouldn't have ate that much. <laughs> like I'm not trying to hear that. And it's a very unpleasant feeling to be like over full. And you have to like wait for your stomach to like digest the food to get relief. I'm gonna finish this potato, eat one more shrimp, and I'm gonna stop. And I'll have a little snack for later. But now that I'm getting ready to wrap this up, I'm so glad that you guys joined me for lunch or dinner or breakfast, whatever you're having. Um Definitely leave a comment, leave a suggestion, any type of feedback, positive or negative, you know, whatever you'd like to say, go ahead and say it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I feel like I'm gonna make more regardless of like how this one does. Like I really do enjoy watching them, I enjoy making them, and hopefully you guys do too, cause I'd like to make more future mukbang videos. all right i'm gonna finish this shrimp and then i'm gonna sign off i like to put this this way it's prettier right to see that bright orange color i should make that a thumbnail Ooh, my yummy sexy shrimp oh I'm full. I don't even want to finish my shrimp. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna push through. All right. Well, that's that. And now I got the itis. So I'll probably like refrigerate this so it doesn't go bad and then sit and um, watch some TV for a couple hours before it's time to go bowling with my family so once again thanks for watching please subscribe please comment please leave a thumbs up all of that jazz um yeah thanks again I'll see you next time goodbye oh no